Hello everyone, it's Noah here from iHollywood TV and it's time for another It's a Wonderful Lifetime interview and joining us today to speak about the holiday fix-up is Ryan McPartland. Hello Ryan! Hey hey! How's it going? Happy holidays to you! Thank you, to you as well. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe Christmas is almost here. Can you believe it? We're all practically at the end of the year, the last month of 2021. Oh, Christmas, what a year. You know. Christmas started for me in June. Okay, yeah. because <laughs> I've been I've been celebrating a long time making this. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because Maria Menounos, I watch a lot of the morning daytime programs, and she was co-hosting with Ryan Seacrest as Kelly Ripa was taking some time off this past summer, and she was te she was saying not to, well she was yeah she was telling me Ryan no she wasn't she was telling the viewers that you guys were filming a lifetime Christmas movie and how hot it was because it was in the dead of summer and you guys were burning up in your winter jackets. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, not just a winter jacket, but usually it's uh, three layers. You got your shirt underneath, you got your sweater on, and then you throw on the winter jacket. Um, but that's, you know, you make these movies all year long, and sometimes you just got to deal with the elements. And, and I'm the one who sweats more than the average bear, whereas, like, Janet Kramer and Maria Menounos just seem to glow. And I'm just like pouring sweat with fans and ice packs and everything else. But it's like, but oh. um, we got to sell the audience on that it's cold. So even though I'm sweating, I'll give them a little shiver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, oh, it's so, so yeah. hot. I'm melting. You know, it's, yeah. a real, it's a real <laughs> test of my acting skills. Like literally melting outside, you guys. Yes. <laughs> Yep. Well, let's talk yeah. about the holiday fix-up. First off, share with us the whole premise of the movie before we dive more into it. Well, the holiday fix-up, uh, it goes back to Jana and I wanting to develop a story that we felt would speak to us as much as the audience and say, what have we loved about you know, rom-coms, about romance movies, whether it's Sweet Home Alabama or um, uh, what's the one with Ryan Gosling? The Notebook. The Notebook. Mm -hmm. Some of those elements. And so we talked to our writer, Jessica Edding, and she did just a great job of, of creating this story that had that fixer upper element of, um, you know, a couple who's discovered making videos, homemade videos, uh, fixing up some homes in their hometown. And then the, um, you know, our lead actress, Jana Kramer, who plays Sam, she gets discovered and leaves and becomes a huge star. And now where we pick up on our movie and our story is when she comes back to fix a bed and breakfast that meant a lot to both her and Coop, my character. And uh, we are unwittingly put together by Jack to try and fix the bed and breakfast by, um, by the Harbor Fest, because it's just a tradition that has always been part of our Christmas, as means a lot to, to both of our characters. And, um, you know, we never really... We never really talked about what went wrong be between us and why I didn't go with her mm -hmm. to do do the show and to become a, a fixer upper star. I stayed back in the town, and so we broke up. And now it's it's kind of a, a second chance uh, at love, you know, a second chance at romance. And there's a lot of obstacles on the way because there's a lot of unanswered questions of why we broke up in the first place. Now, Ryan, you've been part of multiple holiday movies in your career, but working alongside Jana Kramer for the holiday fix-up, what did you enjoy the absolute most about having Jana as your co-star for this Lifetime holiday movie? Yeah, you know what? I think it was great that Lifetime really took the handcuffs off of us and said, guys, just do, you know, you don't have to follow a formula. Just do what, what speaks to you. And I think what Jana does so well, she's so grounded, right? And she just connects with her audience so well on a real level and an emotional level. And I didn't want her to have to play some bubbly version of herself that wasn't <laughs> organic, you know? Right. I wanted her to be able to be grounded and real and to play on, you know, what went wrong between us. Uh, it, it's just not all, um, it's not just all Christmas and cupcakes and <laughs> icing. <the whole> time. <laughs> There, there's some real tension and some real obstacles that we face. And uh, that's what I wanted to tap into because we're both executive producers on this and we both want to just kind of dive in as much as possible. And by doing that and having that Zoom relationship with each other, we were able to form this friendship and this relationship so that when we stepped on set, 
we already had a shorthand with each other. There's already history there. And I think the audience is going to really feel that. Mm -hmm. I think there's, they're going to feel like, oh, were these guys meant to be together? And what went wrong? And they're going to stick around to find out what went wrong. Now, near the beginning of the movie, we see, you know, Sam and Coop, they had this awkward run-in at the local coffee shop. And then they finally end up working together on the Bell Harbor renovation. Ryan, talk to us about Sam and Coop's relationship. Well, I'll tell you, Sam and Coop have a... Have an interesting relationship because they could obvi they obviously get a kick out of each other and you see that from the first moment they step on screen and i think mm -hmm. that's to me the best part of any rom-com when you're yeah. just rooting for them to be together when you're just like i really want this to work <laughs> so there but there's an, an you know there's a little bit of an antagonization there between uh the coop and and a chip on his shoulder about what he wants to tell her what he wants to say and and what she wants to know, but there's a lot unsaid between them. And Maria Menounos' character, Jenny, who plays Coop's sister, mm -hmm. uh, is the one just kind of poking the bear. And she's just like, hey, you two were good with each other. I want you to get back together with one another. But, um, you know, a, Coop can just be pretty darn stubborn for his own good. And, uh, you know, throughout the movie, I think that we find this nice arc as they as they come together and they're doing more activities together not just fixing the harbor but actually doing some of the town activity and some of the traditions that they have there that you're seeing you know a, a spark between them that is growing but for some reason neither one of them is coming out and saying why aren't we doing this why aren't mm -hmm. we getting back together because they're both being a little bit uh overprotective of what could go wrong now, how was it like to have Maria Menounos portray your sister on screen? Because this is her first time in a Lifetime Christmas movie, as she was saying, you know, back this summer with Ryan Seacrest, like I said, from Kelly and Ryan. <laughs> and yeah. just her laugh. Uh, now, come on. She has such a hysterical laugh. <laughs> she has an iconic she laugh. Like, ah, I, I don't know. I, I, can't, yeah. I can't even do no, it. No, I've you know? been fortunate <laughs> enough to, to work with a few women that have had iconic laughs. Fran Drescher <laughs> being one. Maria Menounos uh, being another. And I'll tell you, Maria... Maria lost her mom this past year to uh, to, to cancer, yes. and both both her parents had COVID um, mm. while they were battling cancer, or while she was uh, her mom was battling cancer, and she put out a video, and it was a, a video about her, you know, her experience with both parents in different hospitals, mm. and I didn't know how she kept it all together, and I honestly, by the end of the video, this YouTube video, I watched the whole thing, I was in tears, and I mm. just wanted to write her. Um, a note, I wanted to send her flowers and nothing felt like enough. So when I was in quarantine in Vancouver for another project, I had finally had the time to sit down and just write her a long email about what that video oh. meant to me and how mm. it's it's going to stick with me and affect my relationships in my life. And she got back to me and said, Ryan, thank you so much, man. Um, and I just appreciate your kind words. But then she said, hey, if you're doing a Christmas movie at all this year, um, let me know because I'd love to come and play. Mm. And I said, we hadn't cast Je Jenny yet. So, you know, I didn't think the role would be big enough for her, but yeah. she was amazing and she made it big and she made it really special. And she came out and was such a pro and just added so much to this movie. And I was so grateful that she did it. So, oh, and so I think sweet. she's going to do a lot more now. I think you're going to see her in the Christmas space uh, for years to come. I hope so. Yeah, she did a terrific job. It's like she was born to be an actress, you know, because we know her from hosting her own podcast on YouTube. And then, yep. of course, she was with Extra with Maria Lopez. She used to do this um, show back when, I, you know, because I went to public school growing up. And, of course, I think she was a host on Channel One News. And I was like, there is Maria Manu house and yeah oh. she has her own like after buzz network she's done a whole lot in her in her career so just to see her in a christmas movie was absolutely extraordinary but i send my love to her family because i know that she's been going through you know tough time but she just seems yeah. to keep it all together and she's so strong and so brave and you yeah. know to, to be able to talk about well, that so a lot well of, and a lot of people can relate to her especially during the holidays when you're missing loved ones and yeah. um i think that you know, we were a little bit of uh, a bright spot for her mm -hmm. holidays. I think mm -hmm. they gave her something to celebrate this year. And I know that her mom will be experiencing it uh, wherever she's at and be a part of it all. Um, but, you know, it, it was this whole project was special because Jana went through a lot uh, in her personal life. Yeah, that's and right. I felt like it was a nice eye of the storm, 
you know, a nice we were just connection too between two young ladies that have went through so much, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And then, and you know, Jen and I um, got uh, uh, speaking of all the people that came together to make this so special. Uh-huh. Jen and I brought in uh, Christian Bush, who we had in common from Sugarland, and we yeah. wrote a song called Second Chances" for this as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you haven't seen the video yet, go to YouTube. Just look at Second Chances" with Janet Kramer mm-hmm. featuring Christian Bush. Um, we'll, you know, we'll download link our viewers to it. Yeah, uh, down, download the song because it was such an awesome experience for me, who I've never co-written a song before, right. and for them to teach me was incredible. And I think it really just came out so special. It was a, I just wanted to tap into that melancholy feel that you can have at Christmas, and when not everything is perfect, you know, when not everything is. Um, just shiny and happy all the time. Ryan McPartland, thank you so much for speaking with us about the Holiday Fix-Up. Everyone, tune in to premiere Saturday, December the 11th at 8, 7 Central on Lifetime, part of It's a Wonderful Lifetime. Ryan, you take care and have a great and happy holiday with your family. Thank you very much. You too. Thank you so much, Ryan McPartland, for speaking with us this morning. Now we have another guest, and I'm in a new outfit. That's right, because we're going to raise a hallelujah to this guest. She's throwing in the holiday fix-up, and joining us right now is Jana Kramer. Hello, Jana. Hi, honey. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Happy holidays. Thank you. Yeah, no, I love it. I'm, I feel like it's nice. I have the Christmas tree lit all day long in December. You look festive, you look jolly, and you look happy. Thank you. Yeah. No, I feel I feel good. That's great. Yeah. By the way, you know what? I just want to tell you real quick before we talk about your movie, The Holiday Fix-Up. I interviewed your co-star, Faith Ford. I'm good friends with Faith Ford, and you guys worked together in Christmas in Mississippi, and she was wanting to connect me with you for us to do an interview way back then, even though it didn't happen. But uh, I just want to say hey to Faithy because I'm going to send this to Faith a little later today, and she's going to be like, ah, oh, there's Jana, you know. So I love her. I, I, I owe her a call. It's been a minute. She called me on my birthday, and I need to call her back because she's, oh. she's an absolute sweetheart. I love that woman. Yeah. Yeah, you have to give her a call. She's so sweet, down to earth. I've never met someone that's so humble like she is. You know, she's just su- such a great lady. So it really is. It really hey, is. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about your movie, The Holiday Fix Up. Jana, with your personal experience as hosting your own podcast, what skills did you bring to your role as a home renovation show host that we see in this movie? I mean, I truly did not have a lot in common with my character because she, you know, was a home renovator designer and I know nothing about that world. Um, (laughs) and she was terrible at Instagram. So it's like, (laughs) just, it's kind of like flop. Um, but I think with, you know, anything and just, you know, when I have hosted, you know, for things, it's just about having that really big and, um, engaging and friendly, uh, presentation. And, um, and you know, so I think just, there was a few scenes where I'm like playing the host and it was, it was fun because I've been able to do that before. So I think just kind of amping it up a little bit on the, um, on the entertainer side. So Jana, near the beginning of the movie, your character Sam gets a call to come help renovate the Bell Harbor Inn after a storm caused damage to the hotel. How was it like to take on this role as you yourself mm-hmm. have actually recently renovated your own home, which I find pretty unique and amazing? Um, yeah, I mean, I built this house and it was fun. It's just, um, it's it's fun to be creative and change things and, um, you know, move things around and have the capacity to do it in the space. And so... It was, um, yeah, it was, it was cool. I got to, uh, kind of, um, you know, I, I had, I had some say in some of the things that I could do on set. And, mm-hmm. um, I think that's very helpful too, for, for actors to be able to be able to be like, all right, well, I think like I would do this. And, um, so that was nice. Now talk to us about Sam and Coop's relationship as we see they have an awkward run in at the local coffee shop. Yeah, so I mean, just like any good Lifetime movie, uh, there is that maybe someone in their life or was in their life that kind of maybe got away. And I think, you know, for Sam, you know, she wanted to go home to help Jack because she loves Jack and she loves the inn and um, and then Rita. But I think, um, you know, seeing seeing <laughs> uh, seeing Coop brings back a lot of memories and you know with them having to eventually work together on this project Mm -hmm. um might bring back some old feelings 
Well, Jana, I do want to touch on something that's kind of personal to you. You know, you've been so open and candid about your own mm -hmm. personal life and struggles this past year through social media. But what can you share with the viewers that will let everyone who is watching and going through a hard time right now that everything will get better in the end? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I posted something recently on my Instagram and just about like, you know, we can do hard things and there's everyone has hard days. Um, but I truly do think that time, time helps and um, mm -hmm. you can, um, you know, every day you can get a little bit stronger. You might feel a little weak, but you're still stronger as the days go on. And so I think that's just an important message to remember that just because you might feel weak, like tomorrow you're going to be stronger because it's a, a new day and, and a new opportunity to to get up, show up, and um, and to do things differently. Absolutely. Well, Jana, I must say you're the strongest woman I know. So it's great to see you keep moving forward and keep pushing through. And, you know, you're helping so many other women out there that has, you know, maybe going through the same thing that you're going through or something a little different. So it's great to see someone like you motivate them and keep them inspired, keep them going, you know, each and every single day. So thank you. Well, thank you. I mean, raise a hallelujah for that one, you know? <laughs> like, we all, we all got to... See this together, you know. I'm not, I know I'm the only one going through it, so. Absolutely. Well, Jana, share with us the importance of the new song "Second Chances" that was actually created for your new movie, The Holiday Fix Up. Yeah, it was fun. It was actually Ryan's idea. He was like, "Hey, it'd be really fun if we, you know, you put an original song in there." And I was like, "Okay, Ryan," like thinking <laughs> it would never happen. But then he connected us with um, uh, Christian Bush from Sugarland, and we wrote the song. And I think it's just. Um, for me, like I, I see it as, you know, a second chance at love, a second chance at, um, something that you always hope for. And around Christmas time, like there's no better chance to have a second chance, um, either at believing in love, finding love, reconnecting with old love, and just about, you know, feeling that, that good feel. Cause who doesn't like to feel good around Christmas time? Absolutely. Who wants to be the Grinch around Christmas? Not me. <laughs> I love Christmas, you know? Please, yeah. Jenna, we put up our trees right after Halloween because we've been doing all Lifetime movies, 35 of them. So we've just been sitting <laughs> here in the snow with Santa's mailbox, and we're just, you know, going right along. <laughs> you know? I love that. <laughs> now, I do want to ask you, how is it like to have Maria Menounos? I love Maria. She's such an incredible host, and, you know, just to see her now in her debut of a Lifetime holiday movie at that, not just a Lifetime movie, but a Christmas movie, um, I, you know, Ryan said that he feels like we will see more from Maria in Christmas movies, uh, for years to come. I hope so. I mean, she's what she brings to her character and who she is as a person. Like she was a complete joy to have on set. Her energy is so bubbly and just like, and I just like, I love the light that she brings and she's a good actress. She comes with, you know, she's prepared and she was, it was very easy to be to play her, you know, best friend in the movie yeah. because I consider her a friend and, you know, she was, she was the great, um, you know, she, again, she just had great energy and I love that. And that hysterical laugh that she has. Oh, it's just, oh, I love it. You know, I, I mean, you guys could, you guys could do a little rival, rivalry to get rival, yeah. rival, <laughs> rival your laughs together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, oh, that'd be fun. Oh <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to be in LA. I'll have to go find her, you know? So, <laughs> 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 all right. Well, now I do want to ask you, how are you going to be spending Christmas this year? Because you got the tree all decked out. I'm sure you got some more decor out in the house, but how, how are we going to yeah, be spending this Christmas is, this, this year, Yeah, this is my master. So um, Christmas, I have the kids and um, oh. I'll have them, you know, Christmas morning and just open presents and um, put a million toys together and just uh, be <laughs> thankful for everything and the blessings that we have. Absolutely. Now, what are some of the toys that your kiddos want from Santa <laughs> or from Mrs. Claus? You know what? They're actually going to write their list today. So, um, but I think when my daughter said she wants a flying unicorn, so I'm going to have to figure out something with Santa to figure that one out. A flying unicorn. That's, you know, it mm -hmm. makes me think of the unicorns that you see at you know, the big inflatable unicorns in the pools. You know, that's what it yep, makes me I think know. of. But. It's flying. See, <laughs> it's flying away in the wind. <laughs> Oh, Jenna. Well, this has been such a, a delight to get to speak with you this morning. By the way, uh, real quick, before we go, is there anything coming up for you in the new year that you can speak with us about this morning? Um, well, I'm working on the next Lifetime Christmas movie actually right now, and I will say that it's uh, it's probably going to involve a little bit more singing next year. 
So. Oh, a little more singing from Jana Kramer. You heard it from her right here. The Holiday Fix Up premieres Saturday, December the 11th at 8, 7 Central on Lifetime, part of It's a Wonderful Lifetime. Jana Kramer, you take care and have a great and happy holidays. Merry Christmas and sending a lot of love and hugs to you. Thanks, honey. You too. Merry Christmas.